What's your name? Where are you from? My name is Alex, and I'm from Pasco. And Alex, can you tell us the testimony that you have to share with us today? Yeah, um, the testimony goes like this. I was at work, and it was an icy day, and it was kind of like really misty and kind of wet and cold and icy. And I was, um, I pick up milk from the, from the farm, and I was next to this building with my truck. And next to the building, there is a, like a post, like a metal post that doesn't allow trucks to hit the building. And I parked really close next to this, like the door was right there. And as I was getting out of the truck, I was avoiding that pole. But this one time when I was getting back on the truck, I, and the truck is about this high, so there's two steps. So as I was on the top step, my foot slipped. And as, can I, one second. As I was not holding on to, uh, as I was not holding on, I was up on the top step and I fell back just free falling on this metal, um, kind of like at the gas station, like these round poles, only this one didn't have a cap and it was just empty. So the, there was a steel wall. And so when I fell, I felt right, I mean, not on the cushion, but on the bone. There's a, there's a, there's a bone there. You, you have one too. And when I fell, you can have the microphone back. When I, when I fell, um, I almost like blacked out. The, the, I've never experienced such pain in my life. I mean, I didn't even know how I got to where I got. Like I just, all I know is it hurt. Okay, I'm not gonna, it, it hurt. And when I came to, I had these thoughts in my head. You're not gonna walk. You're done. You're finished. You gotta call 911. You, but when I came, so these thoughts are coming in my head, but as I'm coming to, I hear my mouth saying, be healed in the name of Jesus. Be healed, literally like, be healed, just repeating that phrase. And another thought in my mind says, get up and start jumping. Like literally, I'm like, jumping? Like, <laughs> I gotta call 911. So, I mean, I thought, and um, I couldn't, like, I couldn't, I can't say I couldn't, didn't feel my leg, but I didn't, at the moment, it was like shock. So, after a couple moments, I kind of like, I better start jumping because I don't want to be like paralyzed. So, I put all the effort I can into just getting up and start jumping. And as I was jumping, just at one moment, the pain went away. Like, as I started jumping, there's no more pain. And I felt great. I started walking, running, and I just tested my body. Everything was fine. And so that's a testimony that uh, I believe a thousand percent that God intervened in that fall. And I am here today because of God's grace. So Alex, what advice can you give for people who um, are here today who might happen to have a situation like that in the future, um, and what can you advise them? Well, I believe you, you hit it the nail on the head. We're reading this book, and I begin to practice in my life where I would confess that I'm healed. Not when I get sick, but I'm healed. And I go as far as to say I cannot get sick. I cannot um, because I see myself healed. I see my family healed. And um, because of that confession, because that's what's in my heart, because of, of, you know, the fourth dimension and reading the book and really committing myself that I am healed. And I believe that this is exactly what happened at the moment uh, of this accident. My spirit already knew that I'm healed and, and, and the, there was room for faith to move. And so I believe it was that confession. I look at my children as they are healed. And just one little testimony, Naomi got a runny nose and she was kind of getting warm literally like yesterday but I told my wife our children can't get sick and fever takes what three days four days Tylenol the very next morning she was perfectly like not sick so that's that's just it, what you confess um, your mindset is what what happens so thank you amen Let's